number one multicultural channel. This is Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. Madras has always been a hub of cultural arts, be it music, dance or any form. Chennai has always attracted poets, singers, dancers, artists and art lovers from not just India but around the world. Every year, this spirit of art is celebrated during the Tamil month of Margari in the form of Margari Festival, under which an array of music and dance performances were organized at different venues or what is referred as sabhas by locals. Take a look. Chennai is considered the Mecca of performing arts in South India, especially Carnatic music and Bharat Natyam. A plethora of concerts and festivals are organized in the city during the entire month of December and a portion of January, which coincides with the Tamil month of Margari. Every year, the performing artists, music lovers, and art enthusiasts throng the mesmerizing Margari festival, a scintillating show of the region's music and dance. Some of the audience feel that they have to come to the venue, enjoy the atmosphere and uh, listen to the concerts and uh, share the, the feelings along with the friends and uh, uh, relatives. Imbibed by that feeling, we started to have online concert this year. And we are having a festival from 15th of December to 1st of January. And it is comprising of vocal concerts, instrumental concerts, dramas, dances, and Tirupavai Upanyasam and Namasankirtanam. All this we are giving as Isai Naughty Natagoda, uh, which represents our tradition and culture. This year, the festival came back to its full glory after the two-year-long pandemic break. On the first day of the festival, a mesmerizing Bharatnatyam dance performance presented by Dr. Rajeshwari Sainath received the loudest cheers. Artists and spectators were thrilled to have been back to the festival after the long pandemic halt. I've been here many times for this season. I always come for one month and I, I love to come here every year. A notable Carnatic music number was presented by Bharat Sundar, a renowned vocalist. The pleasant December weather is always special for music buffs in Chennai. During the time of Margari festival, the city's performances venues come alive to the ragas of music as vocalists and instrumentalists fill the atmosphere with their melodious numbers. Another praiseworthy performance was that of Nirmala Raj Shekhar, who played the Veena. It has been the most beautiful experience that I just had, Margari coming back after two years. We've done so many online concerts. Uh, we've done so many of these that now, you know, we were just dying, aching to meet people. We were looking forward to it so much. And this is my first Margari appearance this year. I have 15 more to go. So please give your good wishes so we have a good time. And to have the Veena, the 
the National Instrument of India, my firstborn, to be featured on this very prestigious Mailapur Fine Arts stage where I grew up in this area, CIT Colony. So to come back here and play the concert again after a gap of two years, it is an absolutely thrilling thing. And to have such a good turnout, there are so many events going on parallelly. That is what our UNESCO symbol is for our city. So this is so amazing that we are having this concert today and so many people to come and watch us. And it is so inspiring. We need all their blessings, good wishes. Everything is possible because of our gurus and our parents who have encouraged us. And now for 40 odd years, this has been my lifeline. Tamil Hindus believe that no weddings or celebrations should take place during the month of Margari and this month should be reserved for all kinds of meditation and prayers. As it is believed that music is also a form of meditation and dance is a way of paying homage to the gods, most of the performances are held during this period of time. There are several landmarks spread throughout India that serve as witnesses to the long-cherished unity among the many different religions that are thriving there. One such epicenter of religious cooperation is the Dargah of Maktoum Shah Baba in the Mumbai city of Maharashtra. The Dargah is well liked by residents and devotees and is frequented by Muslims, Hindus and followers of various faiths. Take a look. Mumbai is one of the most popular port cities in India, which has always been a melting pot of cultures with people from different regions, religions and communities residing here. The shrine of Magdum Shah Baba in Mumbai has been acting as a cynosure of religious harmony for generations. Recently, the 609th Urs of the Sufi saint was organized at the shrine where thousands of devotees from not just Mumbai but from around the country thronged the Dargah. Marking the occasion, a grand fair was also organized by the trustees of the shrine after the long pandemic break in honor of the 14th century Sufi saint Magdum Faki Ali Mahimi, whose grave lies inside the shrine. अगर आप उनकी सारी जिंदगी तारीख देखें तो ये बाबा मखदूम और उनके इन्हें वारिदेन जो हैं वो अरबस्तान से यहाँ पर आए पहले गुजरात गए गुजरात से कल्याण और कल्याण के बाद माहिम आपको हैरानगी होगी कि उनकी जो तरबीत वगैरह हुई तमाम तरह तमाम हिंदुस्तान में उसके बावजूद भी उनका सारा ज़हन हमेशा अपने रब की तरफ रहा उनके उनकी वालदा उनकी खदमात में और उनके वारिद उस तरफ से देखा जाए तो तालीम की तरबियत में और अखलाक की तरबियत में कभी उन्होंने कोई कमी नहीं रखी इस तरह से आपको ये हैरानगी है कि बात लगेगी यकीन कि उनकी हमारे पास तो पूरी फहरिस्त मौजूद है लेकिन सबसे बड़ा सबसे बड़ा यानी असाजा जो इसको कहते हैं कि वो हमारे पास न होते हुए भी इस वक्त इजिप्ट में इजिप्ट की लाइब्रेरी जो है इजिप्ट में अजहर यूनिवर्सिटी में इजिप्ट में अजहर यूनिवर्सिटी में सिलेबस में शामिल है उनकी एक किताब और एक लिबनान के लिबनान की यूनिवर्सिटी में शामिल है Coming from far and wide, people of all religious communities attended the special prayers to seek the blessings of the saint. It is believed that the saint fulfills the wishes of all and nobody returns empty-handed from her. The Sufi traditions have played a significant role in the lives of people for many years and continue to do so today. They give individuals a perspective on the world in all of its spiritual dimensions. आप सब लोग जानते हैं कि ये शहनशाह मखदूम हजरत फकीर महान क्या ये छः सौ नवा उर्स मुबारक है और यहाँ पे सबसे पहली बात तो आप ये देखे जाएंगे कि हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई हर मजहब के कौम के लोग यहाँ पर आते और सरकार से फैसले लेके जाते हैं मैसेज ऑफ लव एंड पीस फॉर ऑल रिगार्डलेस ऑफ देर रिलीजन The Sufi saints who have laid this foundation of communal harmony in the country have only been emboldened with time. By organizing such multi-religious events, the people set an illustrious precedent of harmonious coexistence amid diversity contained in India. And now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently.
In a bid to create awareness among the people and promote inclusivity, members and supporters of the LGBT+, lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender community took part in a pride march in India's eastern Kolkata city. Organizing the Kolkata Rainbow Pride Walk after like two years of the pandemic and I think it's really important because um, this Pride Walk is not only about celebration that we generally have but also to protest, to uh, let the government hear that we are there, you know, queers are there and um, to make the government aware that we want our rights. With a gigantic rainbow flag, posters and placards, participants dressed in colourful costumes. The participants danced and marched on the roads during the 17th Kolkata Rainbow Pride Walk, which was organised after a gap of two years due to coronavirus. India's Supreme Court in 2018 struck down Section 377, a colonial-era law that outlawed same-sex relations, sparking hopes of equality for the country's lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender population. Indian soccer fans took off their Lionel Messi jerseys and waved them over their heads while cheering and dancing in exuberance as Argentina took home the FIFA World Cup title after a gap of 36 years. On a night of high drama, Messi scored two goals and again in the shootout as he led Argentina to an emotional 4-2 win on penalties over France with match ending in a 3-3 draw following 120 minutes of breathtaking action. Reward Galatin Shasham Utiri Matula, Timagale, Aradagari, Kalia Kalin Lam, Orivite Adina Lam, Color TV, Vitani Shasham Trophy, Undo, Mexican Dangil Undo, and La Chodi Tinutera Logatili, a tomb best player, Messiani, Ye the Galatu, Charitratili, a tomb best player, Argentina, Amada Nenjila, Messiani, Argentina, Vamos, Argentina. Fans in southern Tiruvananthapuram thronged the streets to celebrate the South American nation's win as they donned the blue and white jerseys while blowing horns and shaking their legs to the beat of drums. The final win cements Messi's status as a legend among Argentines with Sunday's match, which was expected to be his last appearance in a World Cup for his country, but was soon disregarded as the same when the seven-time Ballon d'Or winner declared that he does not plan to retire from international duty in near future. Visually impaired women in India's western Rajkot city walked the ramp in pink gowns as they participated in a fashion show organized by Institute of Fashion and Jewelry Design. The eight women who participated in the fashion show were associated with the non-profit organization VD Parekh and Mahila Vikas Graha. The models were aided in their walk by men who accompanied them halfway from where the visually impaired women took off and turned heads as they posed. All the participants went through a 15-day training process. India is a country where Sufism has not just flourished but has also become a way of integrating different religious communities. Even today, the teachings of these saints inform the lives of people and this was very well reflected at the shrine of Saint Hazrat Kamar Ali Durvesh Baba in Pune city of Maharashtra, where people of all faiths assembled to seek the blessings of the holy saint. Around 180 kilometers far from Mumbai, on the Pune Bangalore Highway lies the shrine of Hazrat Kamar Ali Darvesh Baba. The shrine has been long serving as a symbol of religious harmony. People from far and wide, irrespective of their caste, religion, and background, throng the shrine to seek the blessings of the Sufi saint. We तो हम बाबा के पास आते हैं तो जब भी आते हैं तो घर में जो भी छोटा बच्चा हो या बड़ा हो ठीक हो जाता है तो पहले से हम बहुत श्रद्धा है बाबा पे और बहुत मानते हैं बाबा को जो भी मन में हो अगर नहीं क्या घर में कोई बीमार है या किसको भूत लगा हुआ है घर में या कोई तकलीफ हो किसने कुछ किया हो, होगा घर में किसी को तो बाबा के इधर आएंगे तो सब निकल जाएगा इधर तो वैसा जात धर्म का कुछ 
कुछ भी नहीं इधर मराठी लोग भी आते हैं मुसलमान तो है बाकी के जात के लोग आते हैं वैसा इधर कुछ भी नहीं मेरे को तो नहीं लगता इधर It's been said that Kamar Ali at the age of 18 was buried around 700 years ago at the shrine. It was after his demise that he was given the title of a Sufi saint. Legend goes that there is 90 kg heavy boulder at the shrine and if 11 people lift it up together with their index finger along with chanting the saint's name the boulder lifts up easily. This act also teaches the lesson of strength lies in unity. It is believed that saint fulfills the wishes of all and nobody returns empty handed from him. Bade hi Allah ke paaye ke wali hain jinki karamat aur jinki azmat aur jinki tazkira sirf Pune mein nahi balki pure Hindustan mein hai. Har jagah se dur daraz se log सरकार से जना कमल दुर्वेश की बारगाह में आते हैं उनकी मुरादें पूरे होती हैं उनकी नियतें उनकी तमन्नाएं आरजू जो भी लेकर के आते हैं इस बारगाह से पूरी होती है क्योंकि ये अल्लाह के मकबूल बंदे हैं और इनकी बेशुमार करामतें हैं इनके चाहने वाले मानने वाले पूरे हिंदुस्तान में पूरे दुनिया में फैले हुए हैं दीस दरगाहस लाउडली प्रोक्लेम अ मैसेज ऑफ पीस एंड ब्रदरहुड एंड दे हैव लॉन्ग सर्वड एज मार्कर्स ऑफ सोशल कॉनकर्ड The harmony between the many religious communities has been defining characteristic of India. And now we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Japanese firm Entity Communications is coming up with latest drone technology under its brand name of Docomo Business. Entity Communications or Entity Com is a Japanese telecommunications firm which provides its services to individuals and businesses around the world. With the help and cooperation of its partner companies, drone services are coming into everyday use. Senkotekini, ano fukyu ga sundeiru to iu no ga ano setsubi aru wa infra no tenken desu ne tenken solution, sore kara nougyo no solution. こういうところでドローンを飛ばして異常を見つけたり悪いところを見つけてそこにピンポイントで対応するとこういうところからあのビジネスが立ち上がってきているということになりますクラウドとか、まあ、AI みたいなところの、えー、プラットフォームのですねあのいろいろなアセットございますのでこれと組み上げて取ったデータをどうビジネスの DX につなげていくのかっていうあたりにこう展開していくことによって、まあ、よりあの付加価値新しい付加価値を出せるんじゃないかなというふうに考えています。The future of drone business appears to be bright with firms like NTT exploring the unlimited possibilities of this industry. It will be accelerated by fusion of worldwide ICT information and communication technology. A Saudi Arabian food festival hosted residents from across the kingdom to introduce the masses to a variety of cuisines and cultural flavors. aiming to consolidate and sustain Saudi cuisine visitors brushed up on their culinary skills and sample taste from various Saudi regions during the event بالعكس هذا الشيء يعطينا دافع ان نطلع للاكبر يعني ان نطمح للاكثر فهذا شيء دافع لنا ان نقدم الاكلات الحساويه ونبرز اكل المملكه فهذا لنا شرف ان شاء الله الى الامام The Saudi Arabian Culinary Arts Commission organized the event to encourage youth to pursue business ventures in the food space and to highlight food as an authentic national heritage. They hope to add the festival on the calendar for international food events and to shed light on one of the kingdom's important legacies. According to the Culinary Arts Commission, the festival is the largest of its kind in the Middle East, which ran until December 23. Ever since the new variant of coronavirus took over the world in 2020, contactless remote control and metaverse technologies are being developed in Japan. The Mitsubishi Electric Advanced Technology Research Institute in Japan is researching remote control technology on the theme of no contact. This initiative is being undertaken so that physically handicapped and especially able people are able to perform jobs and get employment. 
Mitsubishi aims to develop the technology so that it is put into practical use by the year 2025。近代に the future will be all about contactless technology and virtual spaces, which will be helpful in making lives of its citizens easier and diversified. It's been said, art speaks what words are unable to explain. Art is like a universal language which is understood by all. Showcasing the works of different artists along with reviving arts and crafts in the state of Himachal Pradesh, an art exhibition was recently organized at the State Museum in the capital city, Shimla, which was attended by a number of locals as well as tourists. Shimla is one of the most iconic and popular tourist destinations in India, nestled amidst the Himalayas in the state of Himachal Pradesh. Apart from being a hub of culture and tourism, the city also has a rich history of arts and crafts. Recently, a national art exhibition was organized at the State Museum of Shimla where artists from different districts like Kangra, Chamba, Kinnor, Mandi, Shimla and Kullu showcased their artworks and attracted a lot of eyeballs. हिमाचल प्रदेश स्टेट म्यूजियम जो है वो 1978 से ऑल इंडिया आर्ट एग्जीबिशंस ऑर्गेनाइज कर रहा है और अब इसमें पूरे देश के अलग-अलग राज्यों के बहुत सारे लोग भाग लेते हैं और ये देश की प्रमुख आर्ट एग्जीबिशंस में बनती जा रही है इसके लिए हमारा जो स्टेट म्यूजियम है उसको मैं बधाई देता हूं और इसमें जिन भी लोगों ने अपनी पेंटिंग स्कल्पचर के वर्क और दूसरे फॉर्म्स में जो काम करते हैं उसको भेजा है उनका भी धन्यवाद करता हूं क्योंकि उनकी पार्टिसिपेशन से ही हमारी जो एग्जीबिशन है उसका स्तर बेहतर होता है और साथ ही लोगों को पता चलता है कि किस तरह से युवा जो हैं वो सोच रहे हैं किस तरह से वो अलग-अलग मीडियम्स में एक्सपेरिमेंट कर रहे हैं और जो आसपास की जिंदगी है और जो हमारा मेंटल कॉन्फ्लिक्ट है उसको डिपिक्ट करते हैं the State Museum of Shimla is located in the ridge area of the city, which lies exactly at the heart of the city. The five-day art exhibition aimed at reviving the art and craft of the city and was attended by citizens and tourists from all around the country. An array of charcoal, water and poster color paintings, sketches and other forms of artworks were displayed at the exhibition. One of the major attractions was a Tibetan Thangka painting which was also exhibited at the festival. The artists of these paintings were happy by the appreciation their artwork received. This is a very big opportunity for our artists. To come from all India, to come here, to meet their work, to show their work. This is a very important role for an artist to grow. So, we are starting from beginners to beginning. This gives us a lot of confidence, a lot of confidence to take care of this work, to take care of this journey. So, this is our beginning. तो ये बहुत अच्छा एक एक जगह मिलके एक आर्टिस्ट के लिए भी है और एक विजिटर्स के लिए भी है जो हम दिखाना चाहते हैं अपनी कला के माध्यम से कम्युनिकेट कर पाना तो यही है इस एक्सिबिशन में बहुत अच्छा हमें अपॉर्चुनिटी मिलती है। Arts and crafts have started reviving after the pandemic break. A number of art and craft exhibitions are being organized all over the country, giving a chance to young artists to showcase their creativity. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at anin.com. I'm your host Uzma and it's goodbye from the entire production team. Number one multicultural channel. This is Tag TV.